Hello, my name is Ben, and you are watching Sunday Fun Day. Don't, don't you know And what we are doing uh, today is we are going to get right back to where we left off in the previous episode with our long form reactor blocks build. All right, cool. That's what I want. And then, perfect. Getting right around where we want to be. And then um, what we're gonna need next is not in the Native Instruments Library. It's actually back in the Toy Box Library, Free Pack, Sequencers. And we're gonna go Note Sequencer. And, I want to do <clears throat> basically um, the chain, I think, is where we daisy chain multiple instances of sequencer to create sequences of any length. So a positive signal at the chain input port causes the sequence to play once. When the sequence reaches the last step, it sends a positive signal to the chain output, causing the next block to play. So what I want to do is hook this up to the chain. Maybe I don't want to do that. It's not working. Here we go. No, maybe not. to play wire on the first one got it and then I want this one to chain this one so I have the chain output here it's just my own brain messing with me guys <laughs> I think this is gonna work so what I want to do is the chain output here is gonna trigger this next one to play and here's a moment of truth cool now we're playing that's what I want and then I kind of want the same sort of swing. So we're going to go with about a negative 75 or so. Put a little jitter in there. And then let's use the keyboard to set. Let's set these up. Um, so not A. And uh, we have nothing going here. So what we want to do now, this is where we need to get tricky, which is we want to um, basically merge the 
pitches and the gates coming out of here into a single set of pitches and gates going to now the oscillator. So um, we're going to use the utility. We're going to go with a pitch merge and a note merge. And let's see if we can get these in here at the same time. Yes. Perfect. Uh, no, 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 actually not note merge. Uh, but at least I know I can get two things in here at once. Actually, what I need is a gate merge. So gate pitch, I, that's why I said pitch merge and gate merge. And what that'll allow me to do is take two different pitch signals, merge them into a single pitch signal that I can now route to the oscillator, right? So cool stuff. And um, now I'm gonna do the same thing with a gate. So gate merge, gate from this, gate from this, and now we'll merge the gate coming out. Ha 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 ha. Cool. And then um, that ought to work now. All right, so I want to set this up. And I still have nothing coming out of here. So. Should have pitch merged out of here. Um. Let's see if it triggers it. Going to the note sequencer. Nope. So maybe we messed up somewhere. So where did we mess up? Um, pitch is coming out of here into pitch merge. Pitch is coming out of here into pitch merge. The gates seem to be working. So definitely hitting a gate, but... Let's see. Did I do anything here? Maybe randomized? No, that shouldn't do it. It shouldn't matter. Should not matter. And then uh, length jitter. I added a little jitter. That shouldn't matter either. Um, the chain is working. And yeah, it looks like it should be sending it back. I don't know. Wonder what the problem is. I'll try it there. Maybe. So, nope, doesn't seem to be wanting to work. And wonder why that is. Uh, view A. View B. Um, hmm. Let's see, pitch merge. That's what I want to do. I want to merge the pitch signals. <clears throat> um, don't want to spend too much time trying to figure this out. I can try to do this on my own time a little bit. But at any rate, what I wanted to try to do is find a different sequence. But I guess I can switch between them manually, which is not what I was wanting to do. Um, I wonder. Yeah. Something for another day on that. Um, seems to be playing. 
So let's go ahead and get these guys out and just work with a different pattern. And so the different pattern we want to use is actually going to be, let's see, a different set of notes. So let's start. Yeah, D is one of those notes, actually. Let's see. pattern was going to be, let's see, you get to see. And then the fourth pattern was going to be, I think. Yeah, it's actually going to be F. Yeah, so. So, it's actually, I need to work with 0 and 1, not 1 and 2. So, let's go. We actually don't need this one. And then we'll go with number three, which is, I believe it was. Yeah, F. There we go. Cool. So There we have it. And then... Now what I'd like to get into is hearing some... some effects. And so I think I know just where I want to go for that. It's going to be in my own library of 6.3 blocks. And that's going to be in the form of a mini verb that I'm going to use. I'm going to use it basically right here at the output stage.
That's one of my favorite settings, Cave of Wonders. And so in this segment, what I'd really like to do is, is just concentrate on this beautiful reverb from Sinai Audio. It's the mini verb, and if you go check it out, there'll be a link to it in this particular video segment. Um, go check it out, guys. It's badass. And add it to your next reactor instrument. Check it out. There's a ton of presets built into it, which is badass. So it'll take you through the settings and the way that you can obviously, but this, this delay, I'm sorry, this reverb, so capable. It's crazy. So I'll start with the first preset. And this is about half wet, half dry. Let me get it all wet for each of these so you can really hear it. And then here's a second preset, short delay, return straight. So it's got its high frequency damping really turned up. Really awesome. Quick return, Cave of Wonders, one of my favorites. So obviously when you play with like the size of the shape, this is when you get those weird like pitch effects at the same time. Turns delay diffusion movement off. Nice. Choose between two different feedback algorithms off. Disables feedback cross. Enables cross feedback. Circle enables circling feedback with swirls around clockwise. Reacts upon incoming amplitude. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. new favorites. Thank you. 
Thank you.